Okay, we're going to look at the hand now. We're going to start with the palmar surface. Now, here would be our arm. So we can follow some structures up from the arm that we already know. Here's our ulnar artery and nerve. Notice our pinky. Here's our radial artery here. This structure right here is the palmaris longus, one of the flexors that's coming from the forearm. And it is going to end in this thickened portion of tendon called the palmar aponeurosis. Palmar aponeurosis is very, very superficial. And that's attached to that um, palmaris longus tendon. Oops. Sorry about that. And you have some other tendons down here that you can actually recognize. This would be the flexor carpi radialis tendon. And all of these tendons are from your flexor digitorum superficialis muscle. And you can even see your flexor carpi ulnaris. This right here, this little tendon, well really it's not a tendon, it's a ligament. This ligament here is your transverse carpal ligament or your palmar, ap palmar retinaculum. That forms the carpal tunnel there. Ulnar artery and radial artery give rise to the superficial palmar arch. Off of the superficial palmar arch, you have your common palmar digital arteries, which are going to go up here and branch into proper palmar digital arteries. Now, these nerve branches are coming from ulnar nerve on this side and median nerve on this side. Median serves the lateral part of the hand, ulnar serves the medial part of the hand on the palmar side, but they're all named the same. They're just common palmar digital nerves and proper palmar digital nerves. No fancy naming there. Now we can look at some muscles. We have our hypothenar muscles here and our thenar muscles here. This is your flexor digiti minimi. This one over here is your abductor digiti minimi. And if we take that off, you can see your opponent's digiti minimi. On the thumb side, you have your flexor pollicis brevis. I'm sorry, this is flexor pollicis brevis with the V on it. This is your abductor pollicis brevis. And under your abductor is your opponent's Policis. This is your branch from your radial artery that's giving rise to superficial palmar arch. Notice radial artery also continues around to the back of the hand, and we'll look at that in a second. These are your flexor digitorum superficialis tendons, and attached to those tendons you have these little worm-like muscles called lumbricals. If we take that layer off, we can see the deep structures of the hand. You can see your deep palmar arch right there. And these straight arteries coming off of the deep arch are called metacarpal arteries, palmar metacarpal arteries. They're going to come up in anastomose with your common palmar digital arteries. And these are just called metacarpal nerves. This big muscle right here is the AD ductor for the thumb. It has two heads, the transverse head and the oblique head. Now we'll look at the back side of the hand. Turn this guy around. You have your extensor retinaculum here, holding all those tendons in. You can see the tendons for your extensor digitorum here. You've got your extensor carpi ulnaris tendon there, and your extensor carpi radialis tendon. You have this tendon, which is your extensor digitorum longus tendon. And you've got your extensor digitorum brevis and your abductor. I'm sorry, what am I saying? Extensor pollicis longus tendon, it's going to the thumb. Extensor pollicis brevis tendon and your abductor pollicis longus tendon. I'm sorry about that. Looking from the back, we have some muscles too. We can see your dorsal interosseous. So here's the first one. Put the thumb and the first finger. Here's a dorsal interosseous. Two, three, four. 
All of these are the tendons for your extensor digitorum. And you've got intertendinous connections between them. And if we go up here, you can see your extensor hoods on the knuckles of the fingers. As far as vessels and nerves, you have your dorsal carpal arch right there. And you have dorsal metacarpal arteries coming off of that. And then dorsal digital arteries off of those. Nerves, the same thing. Dorsal metacarpal and dorsal digital. To the back of the hand, there's not really a whole lot there.